The original Star Wars Battlefront games, number one and number two, both had a set of cheat codes that I didn't actually know about until very recently, and I'm going to cover them in this video today. This works with the new collection that is out, that has recently been released a few days ago, and there are some very, very strange looking glitches, I must say myself. A couple of examples are on screen here, I'm going to show you each and every one of them. They are basically like the old school GTA cheats, if you remember, you'd have to do the D-pad up, down, left, right all of that stuff and this is very very strange I honestly didn't know this was actually in these games but they actually still in the brand new collection which I think is a really really good thing especially because this game is not doing too well at the moment but anyway there'll be timestamps down below so you can skip to any that you like or come back to this video if you want to try any more if you could leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel that'd be much appreciated enjoy the video Okay, so the first cheat we have here, this was in the original game, all of these were in, in the original game, but I'm just going to showcase all of them on each of the games. So for the first one here, we have the profile selection. As you can see, I've got my username here, this is what I use to play multiplayer. So what you want to do is create a new one by pressing triangle or whatever you would actually use on your controller or keyboard and mouse. Clear that and we need to type in what I've shown on screen here in case sensitive form. So you just need to do capital J lowercase ub and then we go to the where is the uh, so we go to mode and you go for this space right here because that is actually the space it's not very clear but we'll just do it again so basically this makes everybody the size of ewoks it's very very weird so you go jub jub so we are here in the single player mode we can now go into any game that we like i'm just going to go into instant action i'll go on to geonosis why not no i'll do i'll do a bit of hoth so we go like that and then launch. So as you can see here, what the hell am I looking at? I honestly don't know what the hell I'm doing here. Look at this. Look at all of these weird guys. They're tiny. So as you can see, everybody is absolutely tiny. That is so strange. I don't know what the hell he's doing up there. So we can go over here and look at all our teammates. They are just really, really small. They just look so dumb and stupid. So basically, they make everyone the size of an Ewok. That's essentially what this is. So as you can see, everyone is running around. This is so loud, Jesus. Everyone is the size of an Ewok, so I'm not sure the reason why this is, but it's quite a cool idea. I wish new games did this, sort of weird little glitches and cheats and stuff. Just look at him. <laughs> It's so strange. So we're moving into the single player mode as you can see on here. So we have all of these things right here. So we've got instant action that you normally play, Galactic Conquest which is the OG sort of story mode. And we also have two campaigns, Clone Wars and Galactic Civil War. So these work on both of the Clone Wars and Galactic Civil War. So we can go on to here and then obviously as you can see you can select all of the planets. I'm going left and right and I can't actually do anything, I can't move. But with the cheat on screen here, so we do square, triangle, square, triangle. And then as you can see, it will just reload it. And I can now select through all of the planets on the campaign. It's very cool. This works on both of these modes. So if I go on it again, onto the next one. I can't scroll left or right, so I do square, triangle, square, triangle. There we go. And now it works like that. Beautiful stuff. So you can actually skip all of the planets that you don't actually like and you can go to the next ones. It's pretty cool. I like this idea. I, again, I wish the newer games would do this, but it's probably a way if they want you to play the games and have as many hours as you possibly can, etc, etc. I believe that is actually everything. That is all you can do for Battlefront 1. So let's move on to Battlefront 2. Okay, so moving into Battlefront 2. We are here, we are on Death Star and I am a Stormtrooper. Why is this so obnoxiously loud? I'm going to move away from here. So we have a list of cheats here. There's a few of them actually. I think there's six or seven in total. And all of them will be in the start menu. So we'll go ahead and pause it. Again, they only work on single player, but they're just very cool to use. Using the D-pad, enter this on screen right here. So I'll do that right now. And as you'll hear, it will make the sort of select noise once it's completed. So this is the alternative sound effects. So I can just show you on screen what they actually do. Hostile reinforcement 
count is diminishing. There we go, I've restarted the game, so all you have to do is go back to the launcher, go back in, and you've got all your sounds back, just as normal. So the next one we have on screen here is the invincibility cheat. This is just a fun little one if you want to just mess around and pretend that you're actually invincible, which obviously you will be. So we can go with this method on screen right here. So I'll just do that right now and you'll listen for the noise that it makes. If you hear that, then you know it's all done. So I'm now going to run into battle and just showcase the fact that this actually works. Look at that. Come on, shoot me. Shoot me, huh? Is he missing his shots? I mean, I know it's AI, but come on. There we go, yeah. He's hitting me and I'm not taking any damage. There we go. So next up here, we have infinite ammo. So once you reload, it regenerates your ammo so you never run out. So we'll go into this method on screen here. Let's just enter this right now. There we go. So the noise has been made. So I can now just start shooting them. And once I've killed them and I need to reload, look in the bottom left hand corner. Just go up and up and up in the ammo. Very strange. It's quite a cool little thing. And here we go. I'm going to be using Mace Windu right now. So I now have Mace Windu here. And he's decent, especially with the lightsaber. They're pretty strong. But anyway, let's just pause this and show you this awesome one here. It's very easy to do. It's quite short, as shown on screen here. But let's do it. There you go. Noise has been made. So if I go up to these guys right now. Look at that. How weird is that? So for this next one, this is a really, really good one, especially if you make YouTube videos or you want to make a thumbnail or a cool little looking gameplay, for example, you can actually disable the HUD. So all of these things around the outside here, so the lightsaber logo, the actual abilities, the mini map, you can get rid of everything. It's very cool. And I'm going to show you how to do that with this method on screen here. There you go, the noise has been made, and look at this, completely remove the HUD. It doesn't disable the actual comic book thing, as you can see, but you could just restart the game and go into it and just have that on its own. But I think this thing is really cool. So we have one more, one more cheat to complete this collection, and as far as I'm aware, that is all of them. So as you can see, all of these characters have their own little models, and this one is a poor resolution of each model. I don't know why this is in the game, I'm not sure, but anyway, I'm going to be Boba Fett, and we're going to go in. So now, I'm going to pause it, and once we do this, it will make everybody very, very bad resolution. It's such a strange little glitch, but I'm going to show you right now. Look how weird it is now. He's all, he's all skinny. Oh my god, you go flying when you jump. I'm just going to go and try and find some people. So, look at these guys, how thin they are. Yeah, just look at this guy's face right here. Hey, look. Come here. Look at his face. Look at his dumb little face. That's so stupid. And the Wookiees are scary as hell as well. Hello, pal. Here's the other guy. He's the engineer-looking engineer guy. His face is so scary. Yeah, man, this is weird. This is such a strange little glitch here. So, all the Stormtroopers are really thin. I mean, Boba Fett himself is just skinny as hell. His cape is just gone. So, I don't really know what they were thinking when doing this. Oh, let's look at this shower. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Look at that. Oh, that is so weird. Anyway, that is it. That actually sums up the video, and I'm dead. That sums up the video. If you can like and subscribe to the channel, I'd be much appreciated. Look at the back of the Stormtrooper. What the hell? That'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.